anything we can do. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you want to borrow any tools or anything. Excuse me. I'm sorry for your loss. This is for close friends and family. I understand. Get off my property before I call the police. The ceremony was beautiful, by the way. What did you say? The hymns you chose. They were perfect. It was beautiful. You sure I can't get you something for that eye? I got some frozen peas in the back. No, that's all right. Jackson County, it's a bit of a drive. Yeah. Oh, I heard about this kid. 16, right? Yeah. No wonder why his dad clocked you one. You can't show up to funerals uninvited, especially those kind. They chose Psalm 23. That's my favorite. I know. But then you got good taste, Merle. We'll settle up when you're ready. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Fine work, Merle. You do this all yourself? Yep. What happened to your eye? Got punched. I can see that. For why? Deviled eggs, I think. I told you to stay away from that funeral. Why well, you gotta go to so many anyway? I like to, so. I know, it's just a bit much. So? You think we could offer my coffin up to folks as an option? Well, folks got plenty of options. Some of the finest caskets imaginable. Not like mine. No, not like yours. But folks want fancy stuff like satin lining, lacquered wood. Why? Ain't they just dead? That's some way of seeing it, but these people aren't dead to their family or friends. They want them to feel loved as they go into the afterlife, like what we did with your mama way back. You doing all right with the bills and all? Yeah. Why don't you try building a coffee table or something. Broken streams in the holidays, 
crazy cars, horn, stuck all day, breaking laws with runaways, had the baby on the floor today with you. You broke on through, you looked in her heart, you were born to leave, but you were born to leave, through all the rocks in front of dreams, you always had a good time no matter what they did to you. We're making love, seeing sinner things. Love, it seems, is an open scheme. I'm scared to death of the never brings. Putting rivers on the hook and streams in a pool. We don't have a lot of money. Nope. Most people don't. Which is why we offer financing packages. For every situation. Not ours. Of course we do. You're not ours. These are very nice, but it's just too much. Merle, can you do that later, please? Later. Apologize for that. Is this what you do? You fleece people for the last cent for a six foot hole? Quentin, please. No, it's bad enough we gotta deal with the ridiculous horse shit of the situation. You want me to mortgage up my house? Quentin, please. You still idolize us. All right, let's. You retarded. Merle, can you do something other than hover, please? Thank you, Lou, but we'll have to get back to you on this. Of course, but we should make a decision quickly because of the circumstances. I understand. Merle. Oh, hi. Morning, ma'am. You're Lou's assistant, right? Oh, something like that. Hey, do you suppose there's any way of getting the price down for us? Quentin's not gonna stand for it. Who? My husband, Jacob's father. Whose father? Jacob's. Well, that's the boy from Jackson County. Beautiful ceremony. So I heard, but that's my son. Oh, they cousins or something? Something, yeah. And we'd like to have a beautiful ceremony for Jacob, too. At least I would. I'm afraid Lou ain't gonna come down in price. On account of people wanting luxury caskets with satin pillows and stuff. I don't want any of that. I just... I just want something nice. Lou told me I couldn't try to sell it, but... Maybe you'd like it. These are some options. If uh, 
You like that sort of thing. You made this? Yep. Are you going to finish it? I still need to sand it in some places. No, I mean stain it or something. The raw wood makes it look kind of wild west. <laughs> sure. I can do that. Where's Mrs. Sullivan going? Home, I suppose. Why? She's got to pick out a casket today. She did. What'd you do, Merle? Sold her my casket. No, 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 you didn't. I, I did. For how much? Price materials? I, I tried giving it to her for free, but she weren't having it. What I'm most upset about, Merle, is that you're interfering in matters not privy to you. That Sullivan boy tore their family apart. Dead boys tend to do that. It's more than that. What are we going to tell Mr. Sullivan? That we put him in a pine box? These boys were friends, Merle. Good friends. Oh. But I promised her. This is a small town with a particular set of values. This only adds to the uncomfortable situation. You did a good job, Merle. Mrs. Sullivan is very happy. Thanks, Lou. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I got so upset. Didn't know it was going to be closed. It had to be. You like the color? I do. Just wish more people could see it. Well, Mama passed. Not many came to her funeral either. Just me and Lou, a couple Mom's nurses. That's why I try to go to as many as I can. I don't want nobody to go away feeling like they didn't matter enough to people, because they did. You did good, Mama. That looks real nice. <sighs> Thank you.
is now.